On 8th, my wife was praying to Baba, Baba, I could not come to uh, for Kumbha Bishagam because of son's uh, school opening. And she told, show me your presence. Immediately, one uh, breeze came into our house and then Babaji's f photo flew from, that calendar flew from there and sat on the uh, sofa. And suddenly when she observed uh, the um, photo of Babaji in the year, that Vengapal is seen in the year. Then when she went and lit the lamp in the first floor puja room, somebody was knocking the door. Suddenly she got scared and she turned back, the, uh, she, the sound stopped. Then she again when she started to light the lamp, again there was a knocking door, tack, tack, tack. Then she told Baba, I just wanted your presence. If you scare me, I will not come and light the lamp. She sprayed Baba and that sound was stopped. Babaji asked me, <coughs> you are from Kurg, is it? Because after seeing my dress, Babaji was pleased. And he said, so far you have done Narayana Seva in Bangalore, but here afterwards you have to do my Seva. Because at them, I couldn't make out what, who is that Narayana. Then I asked Babaji, Babaji, I was doing Kalki Bhagwan Seva so far. Yeah, same Babaji, Kalki Bhagwan is Narayana Avatara. So, I then I was shocked by hearing that. Then I said, Babaji, I agree. I will do seva here afterwards. I am Chandrasekhar. I met Swamiji in July 2008 to 6th. So that time, I, first time I met Swamiji. So Swamiji said, you will going to be my Shishya in next year. So future you will be my Dasa. Two words he said. So now it is 2017. So I am doing seva for Swamiji, what Swamiji said nine years back. So it is true. Swami said, you are going to be my Shishya. So now I am taking the responsibility of Bangalore Ashram. So what Swami said, it is really true. Keep your mother inside and all those people who are connected to mother, that is mother's relatives, mother, mother's family, all these try to think from the heart. And Kula Deva and Kula Guru of mother. Sarva Mangala Mangalye Shire Sarvata Sadhale Sharanye Trayambhye Gauri Narayya Nilamosthule Pidavine Prarthikya Pidavine Kulatniyum Kudumbatniyum Kudaparamavirim Prarthikya Pidavine Padatil Namaskarikya So just like think of the parent, I mean father, father's Kula, father's guru and everybody connected with father. Now keep those things in your mind. So remember yeah, the Kula Guru and Kula Deva <coughs> of your father. Shivam Shivadaram Shantam Shivatmanam Shivotamam Shivamarga Pranayadharanam Pranadhosmi Sashivam <coughs> then now pray to the Guru inside. And through the blessings of the parents, you have got this life. And through the blessings from the Guru, we um, now know how to live. And so Guru is very important in the life. And Guru is like the umbrella for the life. And Guru is he who gives the abhaya and also varada, whatever is required. And Guru is He who gives us the right knowledge and also guides us. Now, Great God. So whatever we are seeing manifested outside, just remember that it's, everything is Bhagavan. And uh, those things which which are required for our life, that is 
So always see Bhagavan in everything that you see. Mandalam Bhagavan Kanam, Maratilam Bhagavan Kanam, Paratilam Bhagavan Kanam. So Bhagavan should be seen everywhere in the mud and also inside the tree and inside the even the fruit of the tree. And always keep this truth in your mind that everything is Bhagavan. And the control of everything is inside the hand of the Bhagavan. And now the world is in such a stage, it's a crisis stage actually, where actually everybody is afraid what's going to happen today, tomorrow. And a lot of countries are now preparing for war. So now we have to pray for the world peace now. This is the time for And you should be having that harmony. And there should not be any evilness for the world. And the righteousness, it has to be increased in this world. And uh, for all these younger boy, men, kids who are now getting manifested, let everybody has that feeling of God inside. And everything that is manifested in this world, let Bhagavan manifest inside that. We need actually peace for ourselves in life. And we need also the prosperity in life. And we need actually Ananda also. There's no right word in it. And wherever there is peace, there is always prosperity. Swami has been calling my family and me for his darshan for some years now. And I say Swami has been calling because over the years I've come to realize that these things happen only because the Divine Master wills it, as Swami does. Um, so we've had lots of different experiences. I won't go into specifics now, but I would say that uh, for whatever reason, uh, we are here because uh, Swami wants us to be here and we kind of sort of let it be that way and um, we sort of believe that uh, Swami will show us away as we go along. Uh, I've come to realize over the time, over time that there's no point in trying to understand who Swami is or what Swami is. So uh, we've been devotees of uh, Puttaparthi Sai Baba and the important lesson for us as a family from there has been that uh, just surrender to Swami's will and uh, let things flow the way they do. So, um, and we sort of hope that uh, we'll always be on Swami's radar and the one prayer we would have is uh, that He should never let us go off His radar. We hope that He never will. I have been coming to this ashram for the past 10 years. We have met Baba in uh, 1997. And, uh, when we were having that uh, so much of uh, many gurus, we have seen so many gurus and uh, when we met Baba, Baba was telling you are having so many gurus and you have, have so much of experience and uh, devotee of Amma and uh, we met Baba for the first time and he has revealed everything, whatever we have, how many people we have, how many children we have, everything Baba knows. 
without our telling he says everything so whenever we meet baba from that day onwards i used to come regularly and attend puja and every tuesday in the ashram in the naga this uh, we are conducting all pujas every tuesdays after uh, baba's visit whenever he comes he used to stay for one week or 10 days so so much of crowd uh, used to come and take blessing from baba baba gives a regular darshan a morning time and the afternoon time and he himself personally comes and conducts this raghu puja uh, it is so auspicious everybody should witness that one when baba is coming personally and doing the puja it is so auspicious ಮಹಾಡಂಬಾಯ ನಮ we are really blessed to see such a real bhagwan in our life uh, i was suffering from varicose veins so doctor told that i have to tomorrow you have to next week you have to get admitted and the operation should be done but by the grace of bhagwan our Sh- sharabana baba baba ji i met him i told baba ji i am suffering from varicose vein it was severe so baba ji told me uh, you don't worry just he pressed my leg after that uh, doctors were shocked to see now nothing i am having by the grace of bhagwan i am fine thank you